What's going on guys? It's Halloween Vids and today I'll be doing a review on the Party City slash Halloween City Halloween 2022 Rising Woman Animatronic. Alrighty, well, without further ado, let's just get right into it. Um, so this is the Rising Woman animatronic. Um, a little bit of a backstory about her. Um, her original prototype um, was originally supposed to come out. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. 2019, either 2019 or 2017. I forget which one. But she was supposed to come out for that year at Spirit. However, she was canceled. Um, and that prototype was actually it resembled more of um, the woman from the ring as she had black hair and a black dress. And then the remodel, which is this one, um, finally came out at Party City and Halloween City for the 2022 Halloween season. However, she was mostly seen at um, Party Cities. Um, that's where I was able to pick up mine. I got her at the... Um, after Halloween, well, actually, they didn't even, that was one another weird thing. Party City didn't have an after Halloween sale this year. They just packed everything away, which was very strange. The only thing that were on sale were the animatronics, including her, which I was able to get for 50% off. So I paid $75 for her. So definitely a very great deal. And I'm super happy to have her. Um, she is made by Techie Design, if I did not say that already, which is my favorite company. So um, whenever I saw the prototype originally, I really liked it and I was bummed out I couldn't get it. And so I was very happy to see them uh, finally release her, which I think sh she is a very solid animatronic. Um, now let's just get right into the detailing. Um, as for her feet, we'll just start at the bottom. Um, just your simple hard plastic. Detailing is fine. Nothing outstanding, nothing terrible. Um, then uh, onto her dress, it's like a... It's a, it's a thicker fabric, kind of a costume material, although it is covered in blood, and I love that. I am a huge fan of that. I love how it is drenched in blood. I think it looks really nice. And also, on the outside of her dress, there is creepy cloth, which adds some nice depth to her. Um, and then tied to her wrists are these plastic chains, which do rattle, which, again, add a very nice touch, especially during her animation, which is just very cool. Um, and her hands are just the same as her feet. Nothing much to say about that. As for her head, um, there is a wig on it, of course. But actually, what is interesting is there is no face. Um, it's just a black mold here. It's plastic. Which, I mean, I, I have no issue with that. I don't see why she needs a face. Her hair is completely covered. So it does not matter. Um, but yeah, as for... Oh, yeah, the feet tend to move around. They are adjustable. I probably could have them adjusted better than I do. But, so yeah, there's that. And of course, she does not come with a chair. But you do need a chair to activate her, or else like it won't make any sense. There's the back of her, in case you're interested. But yeah, she straps into the chair. So, yeah, I mean, not, not too much to say about the detailing. Her arms are posable, so you can adjust them however you'd like. This is how I prefer them to be. But yeah, I mean, she's very well detailed, definitely um, nothing super crazy, but nothing like terrible either. So yeah, um, I really don't have too much to say about her. Let's just get right into the demo, shall we? I do already have her plugged in, so let me just get her started. But yeah, that's a very solid animation. I am a huge fan of the animation. Something we haven't really seen before, apart from Levitator Girl, I believe. But um, yeah, she's very cool. 
really um, huge fan of the animation. Super unique, a unique mechanism. I love how she rises up, then moves, comes forward. And then I love the head shaking. I think that is a very nice added detail. Not to mention, I also love how she lights up red. It gives her a sense of possession, which I think is very cool. But yeah, definitely solid animation. And for the audio, it's great. I love the like the demonic noises that are playing out before and then her screaming is just very ear piercing, which is perfect, exactly what you would want it to be. But yeah, um, very solid animation. Now she retailed for $149.99, which I find to be a completely fair price, no issues at all with that. Um, she is life size, $150. Not bad. That's how much Thrash and Clown was back in the day, which I consider them to be the same size. Death Row was 100, but again, that's different. And uh, Thrash and Clown came with a TNT box too, so that probably also justifies the 150. But yeah, uh, no issues with the price. Price City usually doesn't overprice their stuff, um, so I'm happy with that. But yeah, uh, so overall, I'd honestly give her a 10 out of 10 for what she is. Um, I don't really have any complaints with her. Her animation's great. Her quality, I mean, seems to be holding up. Um, her price is great. Her concept is awesome. And she's original. Um, so yeah, that's all I have for the video. Tell me what you think about The Rising Woman in the comments below. And until next time, see ya.